Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the debugger. Now the debugger is uh, something that is in the development environment. It helps you out when you make mistakes, when there's things in the code that aren't quite right. We haven't really had any of those, so we're going to introduce one here. One of the most common mistakes to make is to leave out the semicolon at the end of a line. So we're just going to go in here and just choose a line and delete the semicolon. And uh, that's it. Then we're going to try to run it to start debugging. And almost immediately, the system will find it. Say there were build errors. Would you like to continue and run the last successful build? Generally, you want to say no because you've made some changes. And you don't want to lose those. And you want to see what the error was. So click no. Then down at the bottom, the debugger will open. And it'll tell you what errors it thinks it found. May be wrong, but usually it's right. So it says semicolon expected, tells you about where it thinks it is. And if you remember what we did, uh, yep, that's about where it was. So go ahead and click on that line. And if you look down in the bottom right hand corner, it says line 26, column 25, which, yep, that's what the debugger says is, uh, is where the problem is. So we're we put it back, the error goes away. But it'd be nice if we had line numbers here so that we didn't have to click around to look at that numbers in the bottom corner. We can do that by this tools menu here. We're going to select options. And then uh, there's a lot of choices here. We don't need most of them. But under the text editor, we open that up. And then all languages and the general tab. So we click the general tab and right there, line numbers. So we just have to click this checkbox and that'll change the environment basically permanently till we make another change. Click OK and there's our line numbers. So the line numbers are there. It'll help us in debugging uh, later on. We're going to go ahead and save and uh, that's it for now.